The kinematic chain of the simplest wave transmission consists of three main links. A flexible wheel. A hard wheel and a wave generator. The flexible wheel is made in the form of a thin-walled cylindrical shell, passing into the shaft or connected to the shaft by a toothed joint. The teeth are cut on the shell. The rigid wheel in this case is fixed in the housing, has an internal goiter. A flexible wheel in a state of elastic deformation is put on the generator. The dimensions and shapes of the generator ensure the engagement of the teeth of the wheels at their full height in the zone of the large axis and the complete release of the teeth from engagement in the zone of the small axis of the wheel. The rotation of the wave generator causes the deformation of the flexible wheel to move along the circumference of the wave, which leads to a recoupling of the teeth. Since the number of teeth of the flexible and rigid wheels are different, the flexible wheel gets rotation. The deformation wave of the flexible wheel and, accordingly, the engagement zone move along with the rotation of the wave generator. Hence the name wave transmission. Wave transmissions with the rest of the wheels are used mainly with a gear ratio of 80 to 400. Exceeding the upper limit of the gear ratio may cause the generator to turn or the teeth of the wheels to slip. The lower limit of the gear ratio is limited by the initial deformations and stresses in the flexible wheel. Exceeding the limit deformations leads to cracks and destruction of the flexible wheel. The lower limit of the gear ratio can be reduced by making wheels from plastics or other elastic materials. To determine the gear ratio, the driver uses the method of stopping the driver, as is customary in conventional planetary gears. In a suspended flexible wheel, the gear ratio from the wave generator to the rigid wheel is equal to the ratio of the diameter of the rigid wheel or the number of its teeth to the difference in diameters or the numbers of teeth of the rigid and flexible wheels. When the rigid wheel is stationary, the direction of rotation of the driven link changes. In wave transmissions from assembly conditions, the difference in the number of teeth of rigid and flexible wheels is assumed to be equal to or a multiple of the number of generator waves. Transmissions can be single wave, two wave and multi wave.
two-wave transmissions have become the most widespread. Due to the flexibility of one of the wheels, the wave transmission has its own characteristics. During operation, loaded gears distinguish three engagement zones. The zone of teeth entry into engagement, the zone of engagement of the transmission of the main load and the zone of disengagement. The relative movement of the teeth in engagement is insignificant and occurs mainly in areas where loads are new. That is, in the areas of engagement and disengagement. A small sliding path is provided by the trajectory of the relative movement of the teeth. Without load, they resemble an elongated hypocycloid. The contact of the teeth is short-term and is observed only at the top of the loop. Under load, the contact of the teeth is observed in the section O1, a 2 and continues with the movement of the tooth in the opposite direction to the point A3. Comparison of trajectories without and under load shows that under load the gap between the heads of the teeth when they come out of engagement is greater. and the depth of the teeth is slightly less. The relatively small sliding path of the teeth and the low sliding speed causes small friction losses in engagement, minor wear, and a sufficiently high transmission efficiency. A large number of pairs of teeth simultaneously participate in the engagement and transmission of the load. The greater the torque, the more the flexible will bends and the more teeth will be engaged. For example, with 200 teeth of a flexible wave transmission wheel under load, up to 80 teeth are simultaneously engaged. Whereas in a conventional transmission there are only one or two pairs of teeth. In the mass production of wave gears, cam generators are mainly used. Fixed wave generators. The manufacture of a cam and a flexible bearing requires high precision. Disc generators related to relatively free wave generators provide a sufficiently high efficiency. They are easy to manufacture and do not require special bearings. The transmission consists of the same parts of a rigid wheel, 
a flexible wheel and a generator. Now mainly 3-disc 2-wave generators are used. In addition to mechanical generators, hydraulic ones are used. And electromagnetic generators that create a pulsating deformation of the flexible wheel. A constructive type of wave gears is an end gear, in which a round diaphragm with end teeth located along the perimeter is used as a flexible wheel. The rigid wheel is a disc with end teeth. The teeth of the wheels are engaged using a generator made in the form of a relief disc with rolling elements. The rotation from the generator is transmitted to the output shaft through a flexible wheel. The end gear allows you to significantly reduce the dimensions in the axial direction. A helical wave transmission, like a gear wave transmission, consists of three main links. Rigid link, wave generator, and flexible link. Instead of teeth, threads are cut on the links. The rotation of the generator leads to the relative movement of the links. Wave mechanisms are capable of transmitting motion from the engine to the executive body through a sealed wall. An example of the use of wave transmission in machine drives is the design of the turning mechanism of a tower crane. A disc wave generator is used in the gearbox. The output shaft rotates the rotary platform through an open gear pair. In a fully enclosed design of the rotation mechanism from the engine through a gear transmission, rotation is transmitted to a disc wave generator. Suspended rigid wheel, the flexible wheel rotates the crane platform through the lever flange and equalization mechanism. The use of wave transmission in the mechanism of the rotary platform made it possible to reduce its cost, reduce dynamic loads on the screen element and ensure the necessary reliability of operation. A unique design is a mechanism for turning the unloading boom of a rotary excavator. This is one of the largest wave transmission mechanisms manufactured in our country. The nominal torque on the flexible wheel is 80 kN per meter with a gear ratio of 365. In the design of the mechanism, a disc wave generator driven by an engine through a gear pair interacts with a flexible wheel that engages with a rigid wheel and is connected to a driven shaft having a gear. The gear, running around the rotary gear ring, carries the unloading boom with it.
the use of a wave mechanism has significantly reduced the dimensions and costs of the gearbox. They are simply designed to provide small dimensions with a large gear ratio, high accuracy, and smooth rotation of the driven link, the ability to transmit motion in a sealed space. It is planned to create a number of such gear motors with a wide range of gear ratio and torque changes. In our age of rapid development of technology and the growth of engine speeds, the question arises of the widespread use of wave gears in mechanisms with large gear ratios.